for today's video. I'm gonna be breaking down this beat called Nod Your Head, or Nod With The Beat. I don't even know the name of the beat. Nod With The Beat. And yeah, it's just something to groove out to. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little preview. You might hear some static tape hits noise in the background. That's because all the sounds that I'm recording right now are going through the SP404, and that's what you guys are hearing. So in order to get this nitty gritty, dirty beat, I gotta get that compression for the 404 because there's no other compression like it. It's just perfect for that boom bap feel. So let me go ahead and show you guys how the beat sounds. All right, so that's gonna be the preview right there. So I don't want to get a whole beat away, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this. Starting off with the sample, uh, it's a hiatus coyote sample called Shaolin Monk Mother Funk. And it's a pretty dope sample. Let me go ahead and play it. I am gonna have to play it uh, pitch down a little bit just to try to avoid that copyright, but sorry, hopefully that wasn't too long to trigger the copyright robots, but I chopped it up um, quite a bit. And I actually ended up not using any of these chops. I actually just activated chromatic mode right here on the first chop and it allowed me to play on my keyboard chromatically and create my own kind of chord progression with these chops or with this chop and this is what i ended up getting can we just go ahead and appreciate the groove of the beat like the drummer with hiatus coyote did a great job because if you look right here, it's like a ghost note for the kick, like a kick drum, not quite on beat. And it sounds so good and it complements the drums that I programmed on the hair because it just goes with the groove. So let me go ahead and show you guys the drums that I got. So for the drums, so it's a pretty simple pattern and I actually use some sounds from, I believe Splice or... I used some drums from a random drum pack I, I got, and these are the drums that I got. So yeah, nothing crazy there, but when you play it with the sample, this is what you get. The reason why I pointed out the the kick drum in the sample is because if you listen to that first snare hit like around here it kind of sounds like i added a kick drum right there or whatnot when i actually didn't it was just the drum in the sample and it just perfectly went on time with the snare so let's just go ahead and hear it again and see what those vocals was talking about <laughs> All right, so for these vocals, um, I went ahead and got two different acapellas. So from one song called Don't Help and then another one called Just Because and, or Just Begun, I'm tripping. So after this section of the beat is when I want to change things up. So right here, I changed up the sample pattern. Then I also had the vocals playing along with it. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> all right and that's the beat right there but we're not done breaking this down you can see it's a lot going on right here i got the vocals right here i got some right here i got an extra one right here and so let me break down how i got the vocals to sound how they did because this chop right here let's see look at me boy don't you smoke crack sounds
sounds completely different without the effects. So, something like this. Look at me, boy! Don't you smoke crack! Look at me, boy! Don't you smoke crack! So, with these effects, I added a chorus and an EQ8. And I just added that to make the vocals sound a little bit thin, uh, in a sense. So, it took out some of the mids and the bass, and uh, it made the chop sound a little bit wider. And that just gave it this thin, airy sound, which I felt was perfect. And then for the Just Begun, I kind of did the same thing. Took out the bass, added the chorus, and some of the mids, just to give it a similar effect. And this is how they sound. It's pretty ugly right here. It's pretty ugly right here. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly right here. It's pretty ugly right here. It's pretty ugly. It's just perfect. It just gives it like this thin, airy sound. I just love it. But then I dropped down to this one and I added some erosion to kind of change it up and give it like a nice super gritty 8-bit sound, which sounds like this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> then I ended it off with a delay. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the breakdown. So this is the final product. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe and you'll also get some updates about this album that I got coming out called Rough Takes. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. But with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.